morning, students. I'm Brian, and this is the English of Life. Today we're going to be looking at computer games, specifically computer games from the 1980s. These were the first computer games. Uh, they are considered classic computer games, or retro computer games. We're going to be playing Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Frogger, Tetris, and Zork 1 today. Donkey Kong is an iconic early computer game, created in 1981 by Shigaru Miyamoto, a Japanese video game designer at Nintendo. Donkey Kong was the first of many games with Mario as the hero. The Mario franchise is the best-selling video game franchise of all time, with over 210 million units of games sold. You are Mario, a short, pudgy Italian plumber. Mario's girlfriend, Pauline, has been kidnapped by a giant ape named a Donkey Kong. You must climb up a construction site in order to save Pauline. As Donkey Kong throws barrels at you, you avoid barrels by either jumping over them or smashing them with a hammer. Donkey Kong is the antagonist, the villain, or the bad guy in this game. Mario is the protagonist, the hero, the good guy in the game. And the beautiful Pauline is the damsel in distress. The girl you must save in the game. Pac-Man. Pac-Man, in all its simplicity, was immensely popular and is considered one of the classics and the most famous of all time. Created in 1980 by Toru Awatani with Namco, Pac-Man is a fast-paced action puzzle game. You are Pac-Man which is not a man at all, but rather a yellow ball with a mouth. Pac-Man's apparent reason for existence is to clear mazes of smaller balls by eating them as fast as he can. These mazes are haunted by ghosts wandering around aimlessly looking to take out the Pac-Man before he can clear the screen earning himself a piece of fruit and leveling up to a bigger challenge. Ghosts can be eaten when made blue after Pac-Man grabs one of those energy ball things, but their eyes escape back to the center where they become a new ghost to chase the Pac-Man again. You are a frog, named Frogger, and you just want to get home safely. You must get past the cars and the trucks. Jump on the turtles and the logs 
and into one of the five frog holes at the top. There are many ways poor Frogger can die, including hit by traffic, falling into the river, eaten by an alligator or a snake, or riding a log or a turtle all the way to the, end, the edge of the screen. Tetris is a tile-matching puzzle video game, originally designed and programmed by Russian game designer Alexey Pachidov. It was released on June 6, 1984. The player must turn and drop shapes made from four squares onto the playing field. Once a complete line is formed, the blocks dissolve and the player scores points. The more lines cleared at the same time, the higher the points scored. The player steps into the deliberately vague role of an adventurer. The game begins near a white house in a small, self-contained area. Although the player is given little instructions, the house provides an obvious point of interest. When the player enters the house, it yields a number of intriguing objects, including a brass battery-powered lantern, an empty trophy case, and an elvish sword. Beneath the rug, a trap door leads down into a dark cellar, which is revealed to be one of several entrances to a vast subterranean land known as the Great Underground. The ultimate goal of Zork 1 is to collect the 20 treasures of Zork and install them in the trophy case. Finding the treasures requires a solving a variety of puzzles, such as the navigation of two complex mazes. Placing all the treasures into the trophy case scores the player 350 points and grants the rank of Master Adventurer. An ancient map with further instructions then magically appears in the trophy case. These instructions provide access to a stone barrow. The entrance to the barrow is the end of Zork 1 and the beginning of Zork 2. Let's play a game for a while and practice our English, shall we? West of House, Zork 1, The Great Underground Empire, copyright 1982 by Infocom Incorporated, all rights reserved. Zork is a trademark of Infocom Incorporated. Released 26, serial number 820803. West of house, you are standing in an open field west of a white house with a boarded front door. There is a small mailbox here. Well, maybe we should open the mailbox. Open the mailbox. Opening the mailbox reveals a leaflet. Okay. Take leaflet. Taken. All right. Read leaflet. Welcome to Zork. Zork is a game of adventure, danger, and low cunning. In it, you will explore some of the most amazing territory ever seen by mortals. No computer should be without one. Copyright 1982, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go east. 
The door is boarded and you can't remove the boards. Hmm. Well, I definitely need to get in the house, huh? Should we go west? This is a forest with trees in all directions around you. To the east, there appears to be sunlight. Go east. Forest path. This is a path winding through a dimly lit forest. The path heads north-south here. One particular large tree with some low branches stands at the edge of the path. Hmm. How about climb the tree? Ah, you are about 10 feet above the ground, nestled among some large branches. The nearest branch above you is above your reach. Beside you on the branch is a small bird's nest. In the bird's nest is a large egg encrusted with precious jewels, apparently scavenged somewhere by a childless songbird. The egg is covered with fine gold inlay and or ornamented in lapis lazuli and mother of pearl. Unlike most eggs, this one is hinged and has a delicate looking clasp. Holding it closed, the egg appears extremely fragile. Well, it's, it sounds very valuable. I better get it. So, take egg. Take it. Okay. How about go down? Okay. Uh, look. This is a path winding through a dimly lit forest. The path heads north south from here. One particular large tree. Da da da. So, go north south. Understand this. Okay, go north dash south. Ah, clearing. You are in a clearing with a forest surrounding you on all sides. A path leads south. On the ground is a pile of leaves. Hmm, I wonder what this pile of leaves is. Maybe I can uh, kick the leaves. Kicking the pile of leaves has no, no effect. Look at leaves. I see nothing special about the pile of leaves. How about if I take the leaves? A grating appears on the ground. Hmm. grating is locked. Well, that's inconvenient. House is boarded. Grating is locked. Uh, look around again. Where is it? Uh, path leads south. There's a grating security fastened into the ground. Okay, go south. Forest path. This is a path winding through a dimly lit forest. The path heads north south here. One particular large tree. Um, Of the White House. There is no door here, and all the windows are boarded up. To the north, a narrow path winds through the trees. There is no door here, and all the windows are boarded up. And I wonder how you get in this house. to break the window with.